Hello guys, I'm Gaff. Today we're gonna see a guide for Wu about how to clear game creatures. Whether it's a thing to be considered cheap or cheating, or hilarious as fuck like I do, this isn't what the guide is about. Okay, there are multiple ways on how to clear game someone as Wu. There are four methods of doing so. The first method is the easiest one and the most recommended one. This is by pulling the creature, walking by him and pushing him into the abyss. The next method is good if you already got pushed back by the creature, where after you can pull him and simply jump back on the ground again. The next method is, the mo is probably the most known method, but a really stupid method in my opinion. You should trade your tongue to the reset on hit trait, where, whether, where after your jump kick will recharge on hit. This is done by walking backwards, jumping, pulling and jumping back on the ground. And the last method of course is the method I opt to exercise the most on it. It's named the 360 no scope flying frog. This method requires a lot of practice, experience and the utter best knowledge of Kung Fu, but he'll look really cool for a few minutes. This is performed by luring a creature or player if you dare to the edge, jumping backwards, performing a casual 360 no scope and safely landing on the ground. Okay, now we're going over every possible location on the map, where it's possible to clear game the creatures. The first location we're going to talk about is Garden. This will usually be assaulted from Altar, whereas you simply jump on the little rock on the back. Make sure to stand as far as possible and not be hit by his knockback. Next place you want to be able to clear game will be River. This spot is a bit cheeky because of the big ledge. Um, you want to mainly try to pull your targets on this little corner, where after you can simply knock your enemy back. Um, the next place will be Garden. Over here you will always have to make sure you, you go in with full stamina, since the trees are really hindering your escape while enemies drive. The next place will be Shine. Here you just run to the little ledge behind the bell, where after you do the usual combo. Okay, the next location I'm gonna talk about is Altar. This location is tricky again, since you have to lure the creature as far as possible out of his spawning location, then you have to pull him the furthest you can uh, on the little ledge, um, here you won't have the greatest angle, but as long as you can see its health bar, it means you can hit him. After this you will hit him in the water. Okay, if you're lazy and you don't want to bother about luring the creature too much, you can simply jump off the water, pull the creature and safely land in the water. You will be hit for 500, but that's a really great trade-off. The last location we're gonna talk about is Bell. This is an almost exact same copy of Shine, where you simply push the creature off the ledge. Alright, enough theory for today, let's see some in-game action. 